welcome back to my channel my name is natalia this is crafting with natalia and today i have a post review for you yay thank you so much for visiting my channel if you're new here i'm so glad to have you here thank you so much for taking time to watch my video and i hope you like it here and if you're coming back that's even even more amazing because you know it's it's fine to like pop in once but it's so nice when people actually are coming back to my channel and, and enjoying it it's so nice to hear uh so yes yeah, so thank you so much for being here um so yeah if you've been on my channel before you would have seen this painting before i recently posted a whip and chat on it and yeah it's finally done <laughs> guys this painting took a long time uh so i actually started it back in october for um for the diamond painting it forward event from lizette crafts and tells and um yeah i started it in october and then um, I just worked on it for a few days and then I I put it aside for, for a long time and I only picked it up again in February. Um, sorry, if you hear re weird noises, it's, it's, I've got my window open. It's getting really warm in the UK now. <laughs> so yeah, and I live next to like a noisy road. So I'm really sorry if you're hearing weird things like this. Okay so uh so yes yeah, so i enjoyed working on this painting so much honestly even though it took me such a long time but it was mostly um yes yeah, so i came back to it in february and in february i really didn't feel like diamond painting at all uh i kind of every now and then i would pick it up and maybe diamond paint for an hour or i don't know um even sometimes less than an hour and then i would put it aside again and i just i didn't feel like diamond painting and then i was distracted with other things i was uh, working on my cross stitch projects and then also there was just so much happening in my life and then i was traveling to poland and then i was a little bit unwell and so in the end it took me forever to finish this painting but even though it took me so long i really really enjoyed working on it um so even though i didn't feel like diamond painting whenever i worked on it i i thought oh this is really nice actually i, I really like the colors even though there's so many greys guys i was really worried when i got this painting that i will get bored um because of all the greys um you know there's a lot so so there's quite a bit of red in here and you can't see the whole thing right now but so you can see there's this quite a bit of red and uh, lots of red here and a little bit here but majority of this painting is actually white and grace and i was worried that i would get bored um with that but actually it was fine in the end um, i really enjoyed working with the grace i don't know it's, it was kind of fun i don't know it was kind of therapeutic you know? <laughs> maybe not having so many colors because this painting it only had 22 colors which is really not a lot for painting of this size. So this one, this painting is 71 by 55 centimeters. So it's a quite a big one, um, but only has 22 colors. So really not a lot. And maybe because of that, I found it really, really, uh, sorry, really relaxing to work on uh, because I didn't have to worry about color changes so much. There was uh, quite a bit of color blocking. And then it was really nice to see all the greys coming together next to each other, this kind of gradual changes and seeing like these outlines of the buildings come together. And I really enjoyed this, this corner here with the sky. That was actually really fun to work on. So I don't know, for some reason, I really like this painting. Um, the artwork is beautiful. Now, I can't remember the artist who painted it, uh, so I'm going to have to look it up uh, on Diamond Art Club website and I'll post it on the screen here who the artist is. I will also link this painting below for you to see on the Diamond Art Club website. I believe it is still available to buy. Uh, so yes, yeah, so if you like it, then I would definitely recommend this one. So you may see that my edges are gone, right? So, so, so I tried something that I've seen on Instagram before. I've seen uh, some people cut cut off the the margins of the canvas with all the like legend and and the logos and all that. And I thought they look really cool. The paintings they kind of look more finished, yeah, like they actually look kind of complete without all these um, all these things around it. Um, so I just used like this little knife. Uh, I think it's called Exacto knife. I'm not sure. But I just used this little knife just to cut off the edges and I actually really, really like the look of it. I may do it for 
some of my other diamond paintings as well because now it kind of looks like a proper painting uh, you know it just kind of you could just hang it on the wall like this even or you could of course still frame it as well I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with it for now it's been lying on my table for a few days and I've just been enjoying seeing it there like it's a really pretty painting to look at um, yeah so as you may know, I'm in London, uh, so so that's, this is where I live. So of course, also this is very topical as well. So so we have Big Ben here in the Houses of Parliament, uh, and we have this lovely couple. Um, so this looks kind of like an autumn painting, yeah, because of all the reds around it. Um, but yeah, but I don't know. It feels it's got this London feel to it as well because of like the, the grey sky and and you know it's kind of gloomy uh, and all that. And there's this red bus here. I really like the red bus. Uh, I think it's really cool. So yeah, uh, what else can I tell you about this painting? Um, the drills. The drills were pretty good quality. Now let me see if I can find my trash drills. Right. So I've got quite a bit of trash from this painting. So I know it doesn't look like a lot, uh, you know, like like it's not a full bag or anything. But for me, this is relatively quite a lot because in most of the paintings I've been working on, I get barely any trash. Uh, so this is this actually felt like a fair bit of trash, but obviously not a lot. And also, I'm not a very picky diamond painter, so. I don't pick out all like every drill that doesn't look right. I just sometimes if they're like if they're really misshapen or if if they have like a big tab on them or there was a lot of these drills I like linked together like these these three are linked together and then if you try and break them apart they have tabs on them so I don't use them. And then there were some that were like concave and there were some that were kind of just kind of funny looking. Some had holes in them. And so yes, I tried to pick out some of these these really like the drills that I couldn't really use, uh, but I still li leave like if if they just have some minor, I don't know, I like guess a, a tiny hole or I don't know a tiny tab, but I, I don't really bother picking them all out. And I don't have any popping drills at all. I've never had popping drills with Diamond Art Club. Um, so <laughs> there's one, but no. So I noticed some of the drills uh, do fall off a little bit of this canvas let me just replace this one i'm just gonna try and use my finger so i think some of them i wouldn't call them popping drills i think sometimes it's my placing i don't place them very evenly and some of them just lift off a little bit and then when you touch them they obviously they, they do fall but ma majority like there's no popping yes yeah? so i can do that and there's no drills coming up i think there'll be more popping drills like not popping but more drills that may fall off um, around here because towards the end so i kind of like i worked on it from the bottom so i worked on this part first and i did the tree first Yes, I did this side and the bottom of the painting. Then I moved into this corner and then I kind of like worked around here a little bit, around here a little bit. I did the big bend and I left, see all this white, all these white bits here and here. I left them for the end and oh my goodness, that was a lot of white color blocking. Also, a lot of that is ABs and I actually find ABs really hard to work with. Um, I love ABs for how they look. I love the sparkle of them. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, I'll try and... Mm, maybe hard, but I'll try and show you a little bit. So if I... Hmm, I don't know if you can see this. Like some of the sections have this like extra shine around them. It's because there are very large patches of AB drills. I like here. See? Can you see here? So these very large patches of AB drills, they look great, but ABs, I find that they just like, the, the coating of the drill sticks to my wax. And so then the wax very quickly wears off and then I have to keep changing it. And, and they kind of, they hard to place. Uh, so I don't really like working with ABs, but I love seeing them. Uh, so anyway, so there's a lot of white ABs around here, which has slow, slowed me down, like definitely slowed me down having all these ABs and I, like, yeah, I'm, I was having issues with placing them. And then there was a lot of just white color blocking. Uh, so that felt like a lot of work. <laughs> 
it did get a little bit boring towards the end, um, but it's okay. It's okay. I still enjoy this painting. Just there's a lot of white on this painting. And so because of that, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised um, if some of these white drills are not placed correctly and they may be slightly, slightly like, you, you know, like if they not put in properly, they may come up. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's because of popping. I would say it's just of, because of me being lazy and me not placing them very well. But yeah, but the drills are absolutely fine. Uh, the canvas is great quality, as always with Diamond Art Club. Fantastic quality. So I really have nothing, um, no like complaints about this painting at all. Um, let me see, what else can I tell you? So in terms of the drills as well, I have quite a lot left over, but, 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 I did run out of one color, but I suspect that is my fault. Well, I know it's my fault, but I'm, I'm not really sure what happened and when it happened. Um... So, so there was, let me just see the legend again. Um, so there was a few reds in here. Come on, come on, fun, here. So there was a few reds. And I have quite a lot left over from this one, which is, yes. So, so the H, I've got quite a lot left over. And then the other ones, like 666, there's quite a bit as well, but not as much. Then... Oh yeah, there's more, there's more of that age. So I have a lot of this one left. But I did run out of, I think this one, 606. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I realized at one point <laughs> when I was, so I, so okay, so I did the, the first part of the tree I did in October. And then this part I did in February. And as I was placing some of these drills here, and that was after I've already done this bottom part as well, where there's quite a lot of red. So I was placing drills and I was actually placing, I think this symbol, so the H symbol. And I realized that I was placing the wrong color on this symbol. And and I realized that something's mixed up because my drills actually like, um. Like they will look, some of them look slightly different. So I'm not sure if I put the wrong drills, the wrong container, or if at some point I picked up the wrong color and swapped it. I, I couldn't anymore work out what exactly happened. But I realized I was placing the wrong color. So I started picking up the, the recent drills that I've placed, picking them up and putting them on the right symbol. But then I still ran out of that 606. So then I started going back and I actually went back to this part and I realized that also here the symbols were, uh, I was placing the 606 on both actually. So I think I put the wrong bag of drills into the wrong container. I, I think that's what happened. I think I put the 606 to, to 38, whatever the other side, so to 3801. And I just realized at one point that they looked the same, that it was the same color. And so because of that, <laughs> I got myself in the big mess trying to pick out the drills, replace the symbols, but I still, um, I probably missed some of them. So I still wasn't able to have enough to actually put that 606 where it should be. Uh, so like in the umbrella, um, I think a lot of 606 is missing um, because I didn't have enough. So then I just replaced it with the other color. Um, honestly, I don't think it's something they would be able to spot easily. Um, I think it still looks great as it is. I wouldn't even know now where which color was. Um, because all the reds, um, the, 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 kind, the, the main reds are very similar in, in color to each other. And it doesn't really matter so much where exactly they are. I think it doesn't really make that much difference. Uh, so for me, it doesn't really bother me. I was just, I was more annoyed because I wanted to do this post review and then I'll be like, okay, I completely mixed up the colors. So guy, you guys will be like, okay, this is not even what it should be. Um, but it's okay. I think it still looks great. And I think the majority of drills are where they should be. <laughs> Though I can't really say, I, I can't say what happened here. Uh, anymore, but it was like I, I just at one point I just gave up on trying to pick out all the wrong drills But anyway, so that's what happened um, But I all the other colors I had lots left over uh, So I don't know if you can see so these are my containers. I had a lot left over Especially these yeah, the white ones and these ones a lot of them um, 
the ABs as well quite a bit so I believe that was entirely my fault that I ran out of that one color okay and I don't know I think this is really all that I have to say to you guys um, I probably forgot something but um, I don't know what it is because I forgot it <laughs> I hope that you enjoy this painting um, it's really fun to work on I would definitely recommend it um, you know I, I definitely say if you enjoy this kind of artwork, this is really fun to work on. And the drills are lovely quality. And look at the sparkle on them. Just, you know, the drills from Diamond Art Club, they, they're just exceptional in terms of the sparkle. And these are the old drills as well. So I bought this one, um, I believe in January 2020. No, 2021, sorry. So January last year. Yeah, so January last year, so 2021. So that was before they changed to their own drills. Uh, so this is still the worst drills, but they're so beautiful and so sparkly, honestly, guys. Um, I will do like a little, I will insert at the end of the video, like a little tour of the finished canvas, just so that you can see a zoom in of some of those sections of the painting. Um, but overall, the sparkle on this is incredible. The ABs are looking lovely. And yeah, yeah, I love this one. So definitely one of my favorite paintings that I worked on. That's for sure. Okay, so I think this is it for today. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then uh, you can give me a thumbs up on your way out. Or if you're not subscribing yet um, and you like this video, then you know, please consider subscribing, you know, <laughs> you may like it here. Um, yeah, it's generally, it's always chaotic on this channel, but uh, we have a lot of giggles. So, <laughs> so, so hopefully you enjoy that. Um, yeah, and so I think this is it. So I will see you in my next video, I hope. Um, have a lovely day or lovely night wherever you are. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.